Hey gang, it's JC and this is your Daily Dose for Monday, October 4th, 2010. A cooperative venture with my active in beautiful downtown Brentwood. we got a lot to do today because today is the day we're going to be giving away these giant mugs. Here you go, Extreme Gulp from 7-Eleven. Here it is. In addition to that, we got gift certificates from 7-Eleven. Don't go anywhere. Your chance to win happens today. All right, so I'm going to come back to that here in just a minute. Let me throw this down. Let me throw that down. I'm back. Wearing my Slurpee hat, too. Thanks, everybody. Hey, Barb, how you doing down there in Phoenix? All right, so you can get us on your mobile phone. Don't need an app or anything like that. JCOnTheLine.com, that's all you need. Archives, top of the page. Eye Candy Archives, bottom of the page. Dave Murray's Weather Forecast. And your audio on iTunes. And here we roll on with our 15-month paid vacation. Went to the Rams game yesterday. Now, I hadn't been to the Rams games in something like a year and a half. And some things have changed, and not all of them are good but first I want to thank uh, Teresa and Chris and everybody at uh, Clark's and Jewelers we sat in that uh, to call it a suite it's like a whole section next to the one of the replay boards in the end zone and you got leather chairs and cup holders and tables and free food and it was just magnificent and uh, Andy Banker who is the suspender wearing reporter for Fox 2 is the new public address announcer at the Dome, and I think he does a great job, and Teresa Woodard does a good job sort of running around in the crowd and interviewing people, doing little contests and stuff like that. The problem is, it's too fucking loud. Now, at the risk of sounding like my grandfather, you know, turn that noise down, you know, that sort of stuff. Oh, it's, it's absurd. It's way past the point of being absurd. Some enterprising young reporter is going to take one of those decibel-level meters into the dome and call OSHA or something like that and get this thing turned down. It's abs Then you go to the bathroom. You're like, okay, uh, i got to make a phone call. I'll go to the bathroom. You go to the bathroom. It's on twice as loud in the men's room. So there's like no place you can go where the sound isn't, you know, my eyes are bleeding. It's like, are you enjoying the game? I don't know. I can't see through the blood in my eyes. So they got to do something about that. As far as the team is concerned, well, what's going on here? You know, our team's coming in here and not taking the Rams seriously. And by the time they realize, hey, we're going to have to play this game. We've got to have these guys are taking this seriously. Well, by then it's too late. You know, the team is getting better. What did I tell you before the season even started? It's not about the one loss record. It's about improvement. The Rams are certainly an improved team. If we ever got some receivers who could go deep, Sam Bradford. Can you imagine if you had you know, like a Tory Holt or uh, the Isaac Bruce, somebody who could actually go deep? Because we don't have anybody to do that right now. But Bradford, if he stays healthy, you know, he's a big guy too. That really helps him. People are always astonished at how big Sam Bradford is. It's going to help. Stephen Jackson, who I'm not that crazy about, he's, just, he's been driving me nuts with all the stupid stuff about the wrong music at the Dome and stuff like that. He really showed me something yesterday by playing Hurt and in that long run that he had, he was taking those little stutter steps because he couldn't even really fully extend. So, going to get interesting around here. It'll be fun. That's the good news. The bad news is if you were trying to watch the baseball game on Friday or Saturday and you are a subscriber to the Dish Network like we are here at Stately Wayne Manor, you didn't see the games because the two sides are fighting. Fox <coughs> Sportsnet wants more money out of the cable pro or the satellite provider, and the satellite pro provider is like, that's too much, and, and as a result, we don't get the games. Now, what's interesting is that we didn't see the games Friday and Saturday, and now there's a real risk that if you're a Dish Network subscriber, that Mizzou game on Saturday, you're not going to see that either. Uh, a couple of the Blues games you're not going to see. So unless they work this out, we're going to be yanking that out of here. We're going to go to something else. And it ain't going to be DirecTV because I used to have them and I hate them and threaten to sue them. So I guess it's uh, it's it's either cable or Uverse or something like that for us. Unless they, I can be a former subscriber to Dish Network real fast. Just don't get this thing worked out. and You'll see me yank that goddamn thing right off the roof. All right, uh, Bob Costas. Been doing the fundraiser for Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital for many, many years right now. And they announced that the opening act will be Conan O'Brien on April 2nd. Faith Hill is the headliner. They're driving me nuts with all that country stuff they do, but a lot of you, I'm sure, will want to go see Conan O'Brien. All right, let's get to the news. If there is a Tiger Woods sex tape, if there really is one, 
We're going to see it on November 20th. Mattress actress Devin James says she's got 37 minutes of really, really good stuff that you're going to like. There's going to be a teaser video released on November 15th. If this really exists, this is when we're going to end up seeing it. David E. Kelly. You know, even if he didn't really do anything noteworthy, the fact that he's married to Michelle Pfeiffer would impress a lot of people. But he's the brains and the writer behind Ally McBeal and Boston Legal and The Practice and stuff like that. Very well respected in Hollywood for reasons that should be obvious. The rumor going around, I guess it's more than a rumor, he's talking about doing a Wonder Woman deal. He's going to bring back, back Wonder Woman. Let's see if we get the Tiger Woods thing. You know, having sex with Wonder Woman, now you got something. We will keep you posted. Anybody notice we're four weeks away from uh, the, the election? No. All right, we got some random notes here for you today. Calvin Batts is an officer, police officer in Marion County, Florida. Last week, Calvin was just doing his job, and he pulls over a woman who was swerving. And she turned out to be Elsie Wright O'Connor. Elsie. See, when I went to KMOX back in 1993... And I got 900 complaint letters at the station. A lot of the letters were written with, by people with names like Elsie and Elmer. You know, and, and, and names that hadn't been assigned to actual human beings in like 70 years. Elsie is a driver. She's 65 years old. And uh, the police officer, while he's talking to her, notices there's one consumed bottle of vodka on the front seat. And another one that's half consumed. And so he gives her the sobriety test, and she doesn't pass. And that's when Elsie broke out the best bribe that anybody has ever come up with. Elsie invited the police officer to come back to her house, where she would rock his world by giving him a delicious homemade grilled cheese sandwich. How the police officer ever reached down to find the strength to reject that offer, where the intestinal fortitude came from, for this officer to turn that down. He took her to jail. She blew a uh, 272, which is three times over the legal limit. Sorry, Elsie. 49-year-old Brenda Riley and her boyfriend, 59-year-old Keen Langell, both from Largo, Florida, were arrested last week. They had a little food fight. You see, around midnight, ah, there you go, John Hewlett's grandfather. Nothing good ever happens after midnight. Around midnight, they were in the kitchen eating when Keen decided to start spitting bites of banana at his girlfriend, Brenda. Then he started throwing donuts at her. The food fight escalated, ladies and gentlemen, and things got serious. And Brenda got serious. She grabbed a banana, ripped it in half, and jammed both ends into her boyfriend's ears. They ended up in the emergency room. They also ended up in jail. Domestic violence. It's not pretty. All right, let's uh, give something away here. I've been uh, yapping about this for a couple of days. We have some very good friends at Teamworks down in Phoenix. And they handle all the uh, public relations and stuff like that for 7-Eleven. And they said, hey, look what we have for you. Look at a beautiful hat, first of all. A Slurpee. Can't go wrong with a Slurpee hat. And the Extreme Gulp. This is uh, 52 ounces of fluid for your system. These things are, like I said, bigger than my head. So um, so we have one of these for you. And it's better. Don't go anywhere. i got to bend over here. That's what she said. Okay, i got to put all my other stuff down. Hold on here. Oh, man, oh, man. I need a producer. In addition to the uh, mug, the giant mug, we're going to give you one of those. We're also going to give you these gift certificates. See those babies right there? We're going to give you five free Slurpees. We're going to give you five free Big Gulps. We're going to give you five free uh, quarter pound uh, hot dogs. And we're going to give you five free Go Go Taquitos. All right, so there you go. So, in addition to the mug, beautiful mug, in addition to that, you're going to get those. Now, here's the deal. Got to bend over again. All right. Here is the deal. Um, because we're doing 7 Eleven. We used to have somebody who would appear on the show periodically, who we were very good friends with, who we referred to not as 7-Eleven, but as 11-7. If you know who 11-7 is, here's all you have to do. There's a thing at the top of the page. You see it up there? It says Contact JC. All right, you hit that and you fill out the appropriate stuff. And give me the answer to the question. 
we're going to choose six winners at random. You'll each get a mug and you'll each get that whole big set of freebies from 7-Eleven. Again, who was 11-7? Go to contact JC, top of the page. We're going to pick six winners at random. You have to be able to pick up your prizes at Mind Active in beautiful downtown Brentwood. I'll give you the address of that place. you got to go through normal business hours and that stuff. We'll announce the winners tomorrow. So go at it and you win. All right, birthdays today. Tony La Russa, the man who is 66 years old and doesn't have a gray hair on his head. Uh, Tony La Russa is 66. By the way, the rumor is, or at least the story is, he's going to meet with the Cardinal owners uh, in the next day or two here and then decide and make an announcement probably by the end of the week um, whether or not he's coming back. The, the even money says he's coming back again. Tony La Russa, 66 years old today. All right, brand new stuff on the Video Village and the Wayback Machine because it is Monday and we always update that stuff. The Video Village, you know, Tony Curtis died last week. We did an interview back in 1998, one-on-one -on -one in Hollywood with Jamie Lee Curtis, and that was for a movie called Holly, uh, Halloween H2O, so you can see that on the Video Village. J.C.'s Wayback Machine. Have you seen Bill Clinton's new approval numbers? He's like more popular now than at any point in his political career. Anyhow, back in 1993, I used to have one of those big 10-foot satellite dishes. The thing was just scanning the skies, scanning outer space for those satellites and getting all sorts of cool stuff. And I had all these uh, uh, descramblers that were sold on the black market, so I was getting everything. Anyhow, so there's this, this uh, the international crisis... And Bill Clinton is getting ready to go on national TV to do an address to the nation. And I'm playing with the thing, and I pick up the rehearsal of the speech like five minutes before he's ready to go on. I thought he was going to strangle this makeup girl. You see jo George Stephanopoulos running around behind Bill Clinton and all this stuff. I sometimes watch this tape and cannot even believe that I was sitting in my living room in West County watching a closed-circuit feed from the Oval Office, most powerful man in the world and I'm watching this rehearsal and now you get to see it too. It's a very rare recording back in 1993 and watch the look he gives to this makeup girl. Uh, JC's old school photo today eight years ago it was Walt Disney World and we were live with Regis and Kelly. We had an exclusive interview you know Regis used to do a, a, a talk show on TV in St. Louis years and years and years ago. Anyhow that's the old school photo Alright JC's eye candy People always accuse me of making stuff up, and I'm like, you don't, after 26 years, you don't get it, that I get in trouble not for telling lies. I get in trouble for telling the truth. I don't lie to you guys. I don't make stuff up. And so, like, oh, yeah, yeah, you had lunch with Tony Curtis. Yeah, sure, where's the proof? Well, here's the proof. There it is, JC's Eye Candy, me and the back of Karen Kelly and Tony Curtis sitting right there. All right, tomorrow it is Celebrity Tuesday. We will be back, and we will announce the winners of our 7-Eleven Slurpee, the, the Taquito, Hot Dog, Big Gulp, and Mug deal. So there you go. Again, go to Contact JC at the top. We'll announce the winners tomorrow. We'll choose six at random. That's it. JC's Daily Dose for Monday, October 4th, 2010. A cooperative venture with Mind Active in beautiful downtown Brentwood. In the meantime, we've beaten this one to death. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.